sure when Mike and Mel planned this wedding, they thought a blizzard was going to happen in April. So we're out to a hot start today. We are here to celebrate the love that Mike and Mel have for each other. They truly, truly, truly love each other at a level that I've never seen before. You look amazing, honey. Oh my goodness. I think the only person or animal that these two love more than each other is Polly, but that, that's the exception to the rule. Let's start off with Mike. He's the definition of someone who will always have your back. The second greatest decision this man ever made was being a diehard White Sox fan. The best one was to ask Mel out. Mel is one of the kindest human beings in the entire world. She truly cares about each and every person that she interacts with. I know I speak for us when I say that this is one of those couples that you know we're meant to be together. I am truly blessed to be here today, and I know everybody else is too. So without further ado, let's do the vows. We've been dating for almost nine full years, and I know that we've loved each other from the very beginning. We needed to grow individually, and we needed to grow together, and I think we could have got married maybe two or three years ago and we'd be fine, but uh, I'll I'm happy that we're doing this now, and we are just so ready for this, and I this is the easiest decision I've ever made in my life, and I'm just so excited to be your husband. Mike, when we first met, I can't. <laughs> I'm sorry. I knew that you were someone special. Thank you for making me laugh every single day, even on my hardest ones. We usually do our coin toss to make decisions, but today there's no coin toss needed. <laughs> well, <laughs> the easiest decision I've ever made was saying yes when you asked me to marry you. I'm so excited to love you forever and to continue to have you as my partner for the rest of my life. Love you. Mike, please answer with I do. Yes. <laughs> Good, we practiced this. Mike, do you take Mel to be your wife? I do. Mel, do you take Mike to be your husband? I do. It is my absolute honor to pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. and Mrs. Conberry. Thank you for the blessing of bringing Imelda and Mike together in marriage. May we as their family and friends commit to uphold and encourage them to the best of our ability. Help them stay strong in any adversity and to treasure and protect the joy of marriage. Now, Mike, uh, I want you to put your hand over Mel's. And I want you to look her deep, deep in the eyes. This is the last time that you're ever gonna have the upper hand. <laughs> Mel, thank you for loving and being my best friend's best friend. Let's all raise our glasses and toast Mike and Mel. Mel, I know you are my younger sister, but I am the one that looks up to you. You guys are blessed to have found each other. I know you two will enjoy life together more from here on out, especially with Polly Baby. Cheers to Mel and Mike.
know, who's luckier than Mike? He's been to a World Series, he's been to the Rose Bowl, and both of his teams won. So he's been pretty lucky. But uh, he's really the luckiest man here tonight because he married Mel. Right. of everyone here we wish you a long life where you share the joy and laughter and love and lots of white tax games.